What's going on, you guys? Okay, we're back. We're back in action uh, after that quick pause. Hopefully you guys can see me. Let me know if you can. I think it should be good. But anyways, we are here uh, with a friend of mine, I think it's fair to say. Uh, I've known this guy, Luke, for quite a while. He was actually one of the people that that taught me how to play poker back in the day. I used to watch his training videos, and now he's uh, he's working on the tournament schedule at PokerStars. So uh, I'm really excited about, about the call, man. Luke, how's it going, dude? Going great. Awesome. <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming on the show, man. I I saw I saw some previews this morning, Luke, of the schedule. Um, and we'll get to it. But before we do that, let's set it up a little bit. So so what is it you do at at PokerStars? I am responsible for the the main tournament schedule, and what that means is all of the tournaments that just run week to week. You know, they're there. 52 weeks of the year, so things like uh, the Sunday Million, your daily big tournaments, bounty builders, those sorts of things. Right, okay. So, like, not to do a scoop or anything like that, but, like, the, the normal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the grinder schedule, uh, you're the one uh, sort of creating that. Yeah. That's fair? Sure. Okay, cool. Um, so people are saying the audio is a little bit low. Luke, can you turn yours up on your end at all, or is it sort of, like, maxed out? Can you bring it closer to your face? Um, I'm trying to fix it on this end. I'm not sure. I can make it a bit higher. Okay, I'll see. KZ, this is live. Yes, we are live. We're going to be talking about the tournament schedule that just got released today. It isn't started today, but we'll get into it. I'm, I'm just trying to get the audio at the right level. I have it up as high as it can go now. Perfect. I think I think that's good, man. I think we're about even. Uh, let me know. Audio is okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, so... I wanted to sort of preface this with um, what is the history of the tournament schedule at PokerStars? Because I have some fond memories of when I started out playing on PokerStars and I had sort of my, like my favorite tournaments and stuff, but there's been a lot of, of changes that have gone on over the years. Um, you being an ex-professional player yourself probably remember some of that schedule. So like, what is, what's the progression been over the last six years? Over the last six years, well, I mean, there was a big change five years ago, right, with Black Friday happening. Right. And so before that, everything was based around the USA. The biggest market in the world was America, and that's what most of the schedule was sort of catered around. Right. And then once Black Friday happened, uh, you know, the biggest market is now Western Europe, and so you have to sort of cater to that. But in general, the schedule, like... I'd say it's just been, you know, layers on top of layers over the years. Like right, you just, yeah. You have this base that's been around for a long time, and then you slowly, like, make adjustments and put them on top of the base and on top and on top and on top, right? I, I do remember, like, uh, the one that stands out to me, Luke, is the the $4 for rebuy, 4Max. Uh, I remember when people were asking for some 4Max tournaments, and I remember there being, like, five or six that were put into the schedule on one day, you know, so like, and sort of all <laughs> over the place, uh, which didn't really make sense. So I think this new schedule sort of uh, addresses that. Um, I mean, that's that's sort of the way it goes, though, right? You like, you have a lot of requests for a certain type of tournament, and you want to to make your customers happy. So you you fulfill that request just by finding, you know, a place where that tournament fits. Yeah, and that's probably what we'll be doing, you know, in the future, in the next six months. But for now, just just starting off with a clean slate, starting Monday. There you go. Awesome. So we're going to get to it, you guys. If you're just tuning into uh, the stream here, I have a friend of mine and uh, I, I guess not a colleague, but like someone that works with Poker Stars named Luke, um, and he's talking about the new tournament schedule that's coming out. I'm getting there, you guys. I just got to preface a little bit. Um, so what sort of things do you take into consideration when you're building a new schedule like this? Well, there's there's a lot of things, right? So PokerStars.com is global shared liquidity. So every country that can play with every other country, you know, in the world, we have to consider. So we have players in Russia, we have players in Brazil, and everywhere in between. Right. So that's probably the biggest consideration, in my opinion, is the fact that we have all these different time zones and different markets. So we need to have a 24-hour schedule. Right. And then you just have to sort of cater to the to the type of player you have. Like, uh, 
you know, you want to make sure that micro stakes and small stakes players always have a game to play. They're always in action, you know, having something uh, exciting to play. And so that was, those are probably the biggest considerations when it comes to like building this new schedule. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I uh, I see that for sure. I always stick in my head like, oh, I would just build the schedule this way. I start it this time. Like, here's all my tournaments, and then I'm done at this time. Uh, but I guess I guess it doesn't really work that way. You know, uh, we don't all go to bed at the same time. So I, I get that for sure. Okay. Um, so I guess without further ado, can you can you intro the schedule us for for us, man? Starting on on Monday, which is April twenty fifth. I do have the lobby up here, so I'm going to sort of be going through it as we talk about it. i got to turn off my filters. That's that's a good idea. Oh, filters are such a drag, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. i gotta <laughs> got to take off the filter and scroll down here through the thousands of tournaments. Okay. Um, so, so what's new? How is it going to work, man? Well, the first thing is that, like, I've sort of looked at the tournaments in terms of three tiers. So the top tier would be, like, our major tournaments, which are now going to run at... 0500, 1400, and 1900 okay. server time or Eastern time. Okay. And so that was sort of the, the fundamental base is like the peak time for the biggest markets. We want to have special tournaments to play. Right. And okay. So instead of like your Super Tuesday just being at 1400, we now have a version, you know, at 0500 and 1900. Different right. buy slightly different, but the same idea. Okay. The, the second tier would be like your daily, you know, anchors of the schedule, your bigs, hots, bounty builders, Omania. Yeah. And we have more of them now. So before we had 18 per day. Okay. And now we have 28. That That's a lot. I'm just taking it's, a look through here. It's like <laughs> it's structured in a very sort of um, make, I mean, rational sort of way where it seems to go big and then hot 15 minutes later and then bounty builder. 15 minutes later um that's yeah cool. that's that's the idea the bigs are on on the double zeros there the hots are on the 15s and right. the money builders are on the 30s every single hour that's awesome and then during peak time which yeah. would be you know western europe there's two per hour for four hours and that's solely to you know give the micro players something to play right okay i'm just gonna search for big here just so that I can sort of look at the look at the bigs and how they work. Um, so I mean, let's go to like April twenty eighth or something like that, right? So we start with the big eleven, and this is one in the morning for me. So it's something I'm never really gonna play. Um, but every hour, big twenty two, big one, big sixteen fifty, big one sixty two, uh, big twenty seven, big four forty, and then it sort of gets into the peak time. Usually when I play you guys uh, with the forty four, the seven fifty, the three thirty, the one oh nine. And it's just on the hour every hour. And I see what you mean here. Two on the hour um, from noon Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, and it's one hour later, I believe, for the HOTS because they're turbo. So Right, fair enough. And the, and the HOTS sort of follow the same structure. So that's definitely a yep. big change from... Uh, yeah, the idea is that there's, there's always something open for registration at every stakes level. Right. Uh, that's awesome. If, if you guys are just tuning in, by the way, we're talking about the new tournament schedule on PokerStars. This is PokerStars Luke, the guy that was largely responsible for creating it. Uh, I will have a question and answer period after. If you guys want to ask questions about the new schedule, I mean, uh, feel free to save them, and I'll let you guys know when that is. But we're sort of just going over um, over the new tournaments. Okay, so I'm going to take off this filter. I'm going to th throw show up coming on, because there is these special new promoted tournaments in blue every week. So... Maybe it'd be useful to go through those and sort of see what exactly uh, what exactly is new on the big promoted tournament front. Yeah, uh, so they're not all new, right? The Super Tuesday has been around for several years now. Thursday Thrill, right? And a lot of the Saturday and Sunday tournaments are staying mostly the same. But we've sort of bolstered the schedule by having special tournaments on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And again, putting them at different time zones so that there's, you know, fair play for all for all time zones there. Right. Fair enough. So I'm seeing like on on Monday here, which didn't previously have a big promoted no limit hold'em tournament. Um, I see the the Monday six max at is that noon? Yeah, it is at noon my time, which is two p.m. Eastern time. But then yep. in the morning, 
Um, at 3 a.m., you're getting a 109 6 max and a, a mini 6 max for an 11. Um, so this like three tiered sort of big tournament and then mini three times the day is going to, to me, it seems like it's going to create this like um, special period for everyone, regardless of what time zone you're in. Uh, it's quite cool. Yeah, and they all have, you know, some longer late registration periods. So they, they cast a wide net and they're, even with their satellites, they're going to be very special in like the sort of daily must play tournaments, I think. Yeah. Cool, cool. Man, I'm already thinking, like, should I take less days off? Like, I kind of want to play more <laughs> days now. I don't know. Um, so we got, like, for example, you guys, the the Tuesday. Let's just take a look at the, at Tuesday, which used to be the Super Tuesday. That was it, right? Uh, now, at 3 a.m., there's a 215 early edition Super Tuesday. There's a $22 mini Super Tuesday, which is start at 4 a.m. my time. Then you get to the actual main event, the Super Tuesday. But there's a 109 mini an hour later. And then there's the Fat Tuesday, which is a turbo, uh, two hours and 45 minutes later. And then in the evening, you have a 320 and a 33. So, like, we're talking an extra seven sort of big promoted tournaments on Tuesday. Um, so, needless to say, uh, I'm pretty excited, Luke. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty awesome. worried now. It sounds like a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I mean, got to watch those guarantees, I guess. Uh, that that oh, could lead sure. to another question. Um, what's up with the, the guarantees for these tournaments? Um, you know, right now they're set kind of low. What's, what's the strategy with, with the guarantees? Well, they're set low because the tournaments have just never run before. So, I mean, all next week I'm going to be sitting at my computer adjusting guarantees based on how things are going, right? So. Okay. If the early Monday 6 max gets 50k prize pool, it'll be adjusted for the following Monday. I'll be very uh, vigilant when it comes to raising them. Okay. But it's just, especially in the other time zones, it's sort of difficult to, you know, predict participation. We don't, we don't have special tournaments at 0500 right now, so it's kind of tough to know how many people are going to come and play or what formats will be more or less popular, right? So right, yeah. It's there will be a short teething period, and then after that we'll be back into our rhythm of setting guarantees. Okay, awesome, awesome, man. Um, so I have a, a couple other questions that I had written down, and then I'll open it up to you guys to ask some questions if you want. Um, Listen to this. He wrote questions down. Man, I, I prepared. I, I really wanted to prepare here because I was like, there's going to be some grinders. You know, they're going to be like ready to battle. I need to ask good questions. Um, okay, <laughs> so um, satellites. How are the satellites going to work for, for these tournaments? Well, all of the blue tournaments have special satellites. Now, I can't see your screen, but if you go to the satellite tab okay. and just start, you know, Looking down at next week, you'll see that there's a lot of satellites in pink. Satellite and tab. Where is that? <laughs> I always just find it in my regular lobby. I guess I, I'll have to uh, double click and then I'll be able to see. Um, if I open a tournament lobby, I should be able to see the satellites, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Anyways, so, there's like some special satellites in pink for all the majors, right? And okay. the way that they work is, you know, sort of a template like the big Hots and Bounty Builders where... The Super Tuesday starts at 1400, right? Right, okay. I'm going to pull that out. That means out. that there will be a Megasat at 11, three hours before, and that's like a regular speed, slow burn kind of satellite. Oh, nice. A regular speed? God, oh, I love the regular speed. speeds, man. That's great. And then 45 minutes before the tournament starts, there will be a deadline satellite, which is turbo. Right, okay. And run for an hour and a half or so. And then right when the tournament starts, there will be a last chance satellite, which is Hyper Turbo. So for, for okay. most okay. of the new blue tournaments, that'll be the case. Now, there's some where, you know, if the tournament is only $2, I'm not going to have people play a 20 cent tournament three hours before it starts, right? That so, makes sense, yeah. But most of them will have special satellites, which I'm really excited about. I see that here. Yeah, that's great. So like a three-pronged... Regular speed, turbo, and then hyper, sort of leading up to the event for each of the blue events. Uh, unless it's, like, really small, in which case it wouldn't necessarily be that way. Yeah. Okay. That's that's awesome, man. Uh, almost at your question guy, uh, time, guys. When can we expect the new schedule to come into effect? I, I think we already got that. That's the 25th, correct? 
Monday, Monday, Monday. We'll also have challenges. Uh, I believe they'll be announced later Monday. Okay. I might be, you know, speaking too soon. But... All right. We have an exclusive here in the stream. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> later on Monday, it, you know, once communications are sent out, there will be some challenges where if you complete five of ten, you gain entry to a free roll which has over 50k worth of tournament tickets. Oh, sweet. Yeah, nice. a little hint for the stream. There's there's some that are a bit easier than others. Okay. Where it's like play a red tournament, play a bounty builder, and knock out two people on a bounty builder. You can get three out of five just like that. Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah. that's a that's a stream exclusive, you guys. I feel like we got we got the jump on that. No one knows it yet, so let's just like let's keep it here. You know, we don't <laughs> don't give any advantage to the non-stream watchers. All right. Um, keep it on the DL so you can maximize your EV. There we go, DL. Okay. Um, in terms of rake, is there any changes in rake from the old sort of tournaments and this new schedule? No, no, everything's the same. Okay. We, we announced changes on that went into effect on March 28th, and those are still in effect, but there's nothing different, nothing surprising coming on Monday. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, so guys, if you want to... Open up to questions. Feel free to throw them in the chat. I got two that I got from Skype earlier this morning. Uh, I'm not so much of a mixed game player myself. Before, before Scoop or, or WCube, where I will punch around and play against the experts and try and beg a title, you know. Um, but some people were asking about the PLO um, schedule and the N NLO8 or the PLO8 schedule. Um, what's what's up with the mixed games on this new schedule? Like how how are they changing? Well, these sorts of games are tough, right? Because we have this smallish following of people who just want want more of this game, uh, or these games, I guess, NL08, PL08, PLO, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not exactly increasing in popularity, right? So I took a, a little different approach, and I'm pretty interested to see how it works, where we actually have more of these tournaments an extra, I think it comes out to 30 a day of all of the non-No Limit games. There will be more. Okay. And most of them will be re-entry with a slightly smaller buy in than before. And the reason that I want to try this is to sort of, you know, spread of wide, as wide a net as possible. Try to get as many people to, you know, give these games a go and maybe get interested in them and grow the grow the number of people who are fans of these games. Right. Okay. So like organically try and grow it from, from the bottom. That makes sense to me. Um, I do have a question about, I mean, it's sort of a specific timing question. So let's just turn to the chat here a little bit and, and see. If you guys have any questions about the new PokerStar schedule, now's a good time. Uh, is there a spreadsheet available? I don't think so, Luke? I don't think so? No, it's really difficult. It's there's no user-friendly way to show 7,000 tournaments, which is <laughs> what we have, you know, week right. on week for the main schedule. Fair enough. Um, what about the level changes of the bigs? Yeah, so how, how is the structure changing on, on the bigs? So the bigs, hots, and bounty builders all have different structures now. Okay. And the way it's working is that the smallest stakes of the bigs have seven-minute levels, the medium stakes of the bigs have eight minute levels and the higher stakes have nine minute levels. Okay. And this is very different from before where it was 10 minute levels throughout, I believe. Yeah. And so the result of this, I think, is that the tournaments will be a bit shorter. Okay. And I'm going to be monitoring this. And we just had too many tournaments that were lasting 12, 13 hours. And I'm trying to, to get away from that a bit. Okay. Now, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to tournaments playing deep, but when you have tournaments with several thousand people, uh, 12 hours is just too long. So some people think that these might be too short, but again, this is, you know, we haven't even had a single day of play yet, so we'll keep an eye on it. I'm open to feedback, and if it's if the tournaments are running too quickly, then we can very easily slow them down for the next week. Right. Okay, I see that the the bigs have five thousand starting chips now as well, um, so that yes, should count. All the red tournaments balance. have five thousand starting chips. That's that's awesome. Cool, cool. That's exciting. Um, okay, and and just on that, you were talking about feedback a little bit. 
I'm always open to hear your guys' feedback about the schedule, and I can talk to Luke directly. Um, you know, I can talk with PokerStars about that sort of stuff. But is there any other ways that they can they can utilize to sort of get in contact with you and give feedback about the schedule? Sure. I mean, a lot of any sort of uh, email that's sent to us, even support that's mm -hmm. you know thoughtful gets forwarded on to us. You know, just right. instantly. And so we do receive feedback just via email as well. Okay. I post on 2 plus 2 as Poker Stars Luke. Uh, you know, probably not as often as they'd like me to. I'm, <laughs> just trying, I'm just trying to work. I'm just trying to give everyone a good experience. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. Okay, so uh, you guys can just, like, fill out a support ticket and, and pass your suggestions. Go right along. Um, okay, so let's see. There's a lot more questions in the chat. Where am I at here? Um, do you think the Super Tuesday's guarantee will change through the increased number of big tournaments on that day? What do you think about that, Luke? Well, so the reason for all of the minis is actually mostly because of 2 plus 2. We ran a promotion in December where we had mini versions of some of our major tournaments like the Sunday Million, and they were hugely successful. So I think about six weeks later I added the Sunday Mini Million, right? which was you know, one-tenth of the buy of the Sunday Million and one-tenth the guarantee, $22, 100K. And it crushed. It did really well. And so I'm not really worried about these mini tournaments, you know, taking action from the higher tournaments. Okay. I, th I think they'll just be complimentary. Perfect. There you go. Um, okay. Um, I'm just <laughs> looking through some more. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Man, I love Twitch chat. This guy is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we get Flatty28. Thank you so much for the two-month resub, man. Hearts up in chat. Um, we talked about mixed games a little bit before. Have you fixed the meaningless early levels in the rag speed mixed games? I don't know, Forzen. I don't know. Is there any changes in structure in the mixed games? Yes. I, I did remove a lot of the early levels. Um, I don't claim to be an expert on non-big bet structures right but that was a common complaint that's been coming in for you know a year or so that the early levels aren't very attractive so i uh i definitely got rid of some levels at the beginning okay cool cool all right fire sorry rapid fire let's go rapid fire there's so much every man. single one i'm trying to catch <laughs> up here um any changes in sit and goes i don't think that's your department is it luke Nope, I'm not responsible for sit and goes, though I uh, made sit and go satellites today for the new schedule with my colleague. Oh, nice. What, what do those look like, or can you, can you tell us? Pretty similar. So the way that I did the satellites for the schedule was we typically have satellites where, like, you have a one in three chance of winning a seat or one in eight. So I tried to make the, the MTT satellites uh, one in five or one in ten or more. Okay, nice. So sort of just cover all all uh, risk levels, I guess. Right, okay. Cool, cool. Um, will there be PSKOs with 5K starting chips? What do they start with the, the bounty builders? Bounty builders. They start with 5K? Yep. Dream, nice. That's awesome. All the, all the red tournaments have 5K now. There you go. Um, okay, here, here's, a, here's a hot take, Luke. Are they going to change Ace-King to hit for once? Question mark. No. Uh, any thoughts no. on that? Sorry, no? Sorry, guys. King, King, Queen always wins. Yeah. Ace, King is a drawing hand. You should know that by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I, I've seen a lot of the questions, you guys. Uh, I'll let you, for another minute or so, get your questions out, but we do have to wrap it up at some point here. Um, but, Luke, I've been, it's been so exciting to talk about this, man. I can't wait for the new schedule to start on Monday. I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, it'll be awesome. Yeah, me too. It's been a it's been a lot of time and effort to get here. Yeah, man, and and thank you for doing it. It's uh, I'm I'm pretty pumped up, man. And I know it's just like been been you slaving away the Isle of Man offices. I saw your offices this year. Uh, you just sitting at that desk working on it for a long time. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. I think I think we're about it for for the questions. So. Uh, well, I, see, I see one that's come up a few times that I that oh. I want to answer for sure. Go for it. 
Uh, the Wednesday 320 players have mentioned. It's something that we've had for many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it is gone, but on Tuesday and Thursday, there will be a Super Tuesday 320 and a Thursday Thrill 320. So hopefully those, you know, scratch that itch for those players. There's a bonus 320 now, so there you go. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> okay. Can you ask him if they're going to create a monthly Sunday 5 million? Any thoughts on that, Luke? Uh, <laughs> does he have $4 million we can borrow every <laughs> <Yeah>. month? <laughs> That'd That's kind fun. of a tough ask there. Maybe you guys just got to reach out to your legislators in the U.S. Maybe we'll have a shot, you know? We got to get it back nationwide. But uh, I think that's going to wrap yeah. it up. Um, thank you so much, Luke, for, for coming on the show, man. This was a lot of fun, and uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the schedule. So uh, a big thanks. If you guys can get, like, I don't know, can you get a clap a slash slash out in chat? A round of applause for Luke, please. Um, thank you so much, man. All right. Um, that, that's, uh, Luke, are you still here? Yeah, yeah. All right, give, give a goodbye. Give a goodbye. Give some closure oh, to the I'm chat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. All right, see you, man. Thanks for coming on. Okay, so that's that. That is, uh, that's the new, new tournament schedule. Uh, changes are happening on the 25th, you guys, so, yeah. I mean, you can, you can check it all out in the lobby right now. Just make sure your, your filters are off. You can, you can click show upcoming and then you can sort of see the blue ones if you want to. You know, so these are like the new big ones every day. 109 six max, $11 six max, the 215 or er, Monday six max, 320 PLO eight, 22 mini Monday, um, 109 Monday late. Like this is just Monday, you know? Every day has it. Friday has a Zoom day, which is pretty cool. Um, the battle royales, so the progressive super knockouts. Um, yeah, Friday has Zoom, which is going to be great. Saturday is such a big day now, you guys. Um, Saturday has really come a lot bigger. The Weekender is now a $215 buy-in, so a lot more approachable. Something I will play at a $215 buy-in level. Um, the 109 heads up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> of course, the 320 Super KO, but there's a mini KO now for $33. And then there's a 215 6 Max Progressive. A 22, Six Max Progressive, the Speedway, and the Late KO. I mean, Saturday just becomes so much bigger. And then, of course, like sort of the feature Sunday, there's a new tournament called the Sunday Marathon, which has 15 minute levels. You start with 10,000 starting chips. I took a look at this one this morning. Uh, 15 minute levels, three hours, 15 minutes of late registration. So I'll be playing that. Um, mini kickoff, of course. There's a $700 Progressive Super Knockout. Uh, every Sunday now called the Super Size Sunday. Um, there's the million and the mini million, of course. There's a 1K on Sunday. The Sunday Grand. 1K Sunday PLO. 109 Sunday Cooldown. Mini Sunday Super Stack. Mini Super Sonic. God. Guys, I, like, listen, if you're not a regular time tournament grinder, I can understand how you're like, oh, okay, this is, the, I mean, sure, all right. But, like, someone that's grinding the schedule five days a week, this is, like, a game changer. I just love it. So, yeah. Uh, anyways. 1K Sunday PLO Easter. Burn the money faster. Arjan, are you making fun of my poker abilities, man? Please don't. You're making me sad. Uh, 1K PLO, I'm going to win the first one confirmed. All right, man. Good luck. So, yeah, guys, my... Um, uh, my throat, my throat hurts. My throat hurts. Uh, I do have a throat infection. If you guys just tuned in uh, at the end here, so yeah, it kind of hurts to talk a little bit. Uh, I need to to rest up. It came from this thing, um, from using like the wrong levels of juice. So um, yeah, but I'm working on some really fun, interesting scoop things. The Spring Championship of Online Poker starts up May eighth. So we're we're less than 20 days away. We're about two weeks away right now, so uh, I'm preparing for that, making sure that I'll have 15 days of just like, we wake up, we grind, we stream all day, we go to bed, we do it again for the next 14 days. Uh, we're going to be running home games alongside every event of Scoop, which should be a lot of fun, and uh, and yeah, that's the plan, so getting ready for that. I love the new schedule. Me too, man. I'm really pumped. 
<laughs> you made him cry, RGM. I'm not crying yet. I can try, but I'm not. Seriously, must be 50 days a year he's sick from Baltic. Man, we're getting better, okay? We're working out five days a week. Um, which is going well. I just finished my first week five days a week. I feel sore, but, like, I feel pretty strong and stuff like that. Um, you know, we're getting better for sure. I haven't been sick since February. It's the end of April. So just, like, give me a day or two, okay? I'm sorry, man. You'll be sick for seven of them days. Man, I hope not. I'm doing everything I can to prepare to not be that way. I want to, I want to, I really want to have a good scoop, so. You can still fly me in for the massage, but got to get the poker lessons. All right, Giggy. The bottom line is from Mixed Rig, uh, PokerStars is removing all the daily 27s and 82 from Monday, approximately 80 mixed game entities per week, despite the increase in popularity in those games, increased numbers in those specific tournaments, especially 8-game and horse. I'm not a, a mixed reg such as yourself, man. Uh, I did sort of ask about it, and he said there's an increase in the amount of mixed games, but a de decrease in the average buy-in. I don't really have a horse in this race, so I don't know. Obviously, that's good for some people and bad for other people. I'm assuming bad for the higher stakes mixed game regs, but I, I did try and you know ask him about it, and you can continue to sort of uh, press him on it. I just, you know, I don't... That's not really my area, so I can't offer any commentary on that, man. But uh, hopefully things work out for you. Scott Monroe, Scott Monroe, EG, what's up, man? Nine months in a row, that's a baby resub. Um, Matilda, thank you so, uh, so much, Scott. I appreciate you, man. Welcome back to Staple Staple Hearts out in chat. We were promised a wrap a week ago. Why has it not been yet been fulfilled? It should be uploading today. Um, when bought today or tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Doug March 1 with the one year resub. Thank you so much, Doug March. I appreciate that, man. Welcome back to Staple Staple Hearts out in chat. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Congrats on the weight loss fitness improvements. Poker was great to see you winning that challenge. Thanks, man. Uh, is there any changes in the length of blind structures in the big tourneys? There is, yes. The small ones are seven, the medium ones are eight, and the bigger ones are nine. There is an increase in, in chips to 5,000 chips, but overall, Luke thinks it'll be a little bit shorter. So they will be slightly faster than they used to be. A decrease from daily 27 to daily threes is pretty big from Mixed Rig. I, I agree. That is pretty big. This is pretty big, man. I uh, just got here. Can you give me a quick summary? It's all in the lobby, the rolling AK. There's basically just like a ton of new tournaments. There's a ton of new tournaments. The bigs are starting on every hour, all of the hours of the schedule. There's like 28 bigs. The hots are starting on the 15 minutes, and then the bounty builders are starting on the 30, and it's that way throughout the whole schedule, uh, the whole day. And then there's these big sort of promoted tournaments as well. Uh, I'm going to sleep a bit. When are you going to play? Um, as soon as I feel better, man. I should be, I, like, I hope I'm here. I thought I was going to be here today, but I woke up and my throat was actually worse from yesterday. Um, so I hope I'm going to be here tomorrow, but just stay tuned to my Twitter, man, and I'll, I'll keep you updated and posted. Um, it's really, it's just like a, it's a dumb throat infection. There's nothing else holding me back from streaming. It's just like, it hurts when I stretch my throat, basically, so... I would expect nothing less from you the size of stars on this. Don't bite the hand that feeds you right. Make sure I, dude, I just don't have, I don't care because I don't play mixed games, you know? So it's just like, it's not my genre. I don't, you know, it's just like, I don't ever play those except for during scoop. So I can't offer any insightful commentary when I haven't loaded up a 27 mix game since they came out, you know? Like, that's your department. So you're the one that needs to play for your, for your schedule, man. And you make the rational points and get it to the right people and try and argue uh, for the case of there being, you know, more tournaments that suit your, your, your go, but, like, it doesn't affect me in the slightest, you know? It's just, like, it's not my department, right? It's just, I don't ever play those games, so it, it doesn't hit me anywhere, um, you know? And what he said to me, as a non mix game player, makes sense, like, try and grow a grassroots movement to increase participation, and then let it grow organically. That makes sense to me, but I don't play those games, and I understand if I was a regular of, of 200-plus size PLO tournaments, like, I would be, you know, that would suck for me, but, you know, that's, that's just, like, not, it's not my area. I'm sorry. I can't be the person you want me to be, because I don't play those games. G spots you with the six-month reset. Thank you so much, G spots you. I appreciate it, man. Welcome back to Staple Staple Hearts out in chat. Thank you. Oh. Got all worked up there. Hurt. Hurt my throat. 
If you did play them, you'd probably try and sell them at a 2.5 markup, you clown. Oh man, we were doing so well. Okay. I'm sorry I can't be your ambassador, Mixed Rig. I wish I could represent your interests, but my interests aren't the same as yours. So I'm not your guy for that. But you can probably find a guy. There's probably a person that can represent you and your point of view really well. But I don't. I just don't think the same way as you. I disagree, fundamentally. Um, do you ever comment on the 2 plus 2 thread about you? Yes, I did. I put out a 30-minute video and then a 40-minute video the last two weeks, but it's kind of unproductive. Um, just because, it, you know, it's, it's just like... It's not my community anymore, you know? Yeah. Okay, anyways, you guys, I think that's about it. I think that, I mean, I can't... Do you guys have anything else to talk about? Mixed rig, I haven't charged over 1.17 markup for months. You're just wrong, dude. You're just, you don't have the facts. My markup is always between 1.1 or 1.17. And it has been for months. Could I charge more? Absolutely. I could, I could probably charge 2.0, but it's just like I don't care. So, <laughs> you know, I don't. Burning Moose with the 16-month reset. Thank you so much, Burning Moose. I appreciate the man. Welcome back to Staple Stable Hearts out in chat. Thank you for the support, man. Sound fine? I don't feel fine. I sound okay, for sure, but I don't feel good. Cheers. I'm just, I'm just trying to answer some questions. When is the wrap-up? Can we at least hear it? It should be up today or tomorrow. I'm hoping today, but tomorrow at the latest. Yeah. Um, that's coming. And then there's, there's, more, there's more content coming. Guys, here's a stream exclusive. There may be, there may be another rap that is coming out that isn't about me, but about another popular streamer that could be coming on my YouTube channel the next week of the same quality from Captain Co-op. I'm not going to show it to you yet, but uh, stay tuned. When you're heading south, um, right after Scoop, going to run it up Reno, so like May 24th, May 25th or so, and then I'll be in Vegas for the class as well, and I'll probably come home like June 10th or so. You ever seen Purple Rain? I haven't. I haven't seen that. Turning to look like a serious bodybuilder. Stop, man. Stop. I'm gonna blush. Ah, oh, stab tomato. No, I, I feel I feel a lot stronger, especially in the shoulders. Just like honestly, just like walking around you guys, I feel like better posture and just stronger. So don't tease us like that. Man, okay, here, uh I I will give you guys something, alright? I'll give you guys something just to just to smooth you over so you know what's coming. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel. If I do this, I need a hundred of you in the chat to subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? So someone put exclamation mark YouTube out there. If I can get a hundred subs, I'm gonna keep doing these things today. So I'm gonna check my analytics tonight. One hundred of you. I don't even know how many people are here. How many are here? A thousand. There's gotta be at least a hundred people that aren't subbed to me. Please hit it up, okay. You guys are only getting the first five seconds here. First five or ten. You ready? It's not my tune. It's a different one that's coming up. It's coming after mine. I'm releasing mine today, but this is this is a new exclusive. You guys are getting a preview. All right. Yo, it's Tonka Pete, the winner of the thriller. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, fam. It's going to be good. You guys are going to love it. That's all you're getting, though. That's all you're getting. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's going to be coming out next week, you guys. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be coming out on my YouTube channel. Exclusive. I need that song. The da -da -da -da. You know that one? I can't do it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be coming out next week on my YouTube channel. I'll have mine coming out tomorrow. And uh, there's more coming. There's more coming too. So 
Bang bang, indeed. It's Tonka Capi, the winner of the thriller. Always plus E B. Da, 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 da. Um, Pimp Stables, thanks, Berlin Spirit. Okay, guys, I really, I gotta go. I, my throat, my throat is just throbbing. Again, I need, I need it. I need someone to come and just, you know, just give me that. <laughs> Kevin Rapper Rito. I mean, there's probably gonna be a Kevin Rapp at some point. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thank you for hanging out and checking out the new tournament schedule. Again, it's up in the lobby right now. It starts on May 25th or April 25th, so you can check it out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I will keep you guys posted on Twitter on when I will be making a return to the felt. I, uh, I'm i just a little bit sore. Like, I could play without without streaming today, but it makes sense to just, like, get some of the work done so that I can stream more. Like, that makes more sense. So, yeah. Uh, honey and whiskey. Okay. I'm going to go fire up some honey and whiskey. That sounds good to me. Uh, thank you guys for watching, but that's that's going to be it for me, okay? So we will uh, see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I can't do... Man, how much Carver I've been watching. I wanted to do this. I can't. That's Carver's thing. Uh, I need like a... I need a sign. Like, uh... No, that's... The army has that one. Hmm... I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Jamie. Bye. I, mean, I, I really wanted to make a sign before I, you know, like... Can we do, can we do like, Bape Nash or something? <laughs> can we do the bird? Alright, I'm out of here. See you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.